Well, this is a very important year because there's three major clinical trials of potential new treatments for Alzheimer's disease that will be completed in 2012. And all three of these are using an immune-based approach or an antibody-based approach to treating the disease. All three are um, perhaps the first hopes of a new generation of disease-modifying therapies for Alzheimer's disease that can actually change the underlying disease process so that patients potentially could survive longer and even perhaps not progress uh, and as right now all patients with Alzheimer's disease do. The studies of Gamma Guard have been going on since 2003 and uh, they're now in the final stages or phase three of development. Gamma Guard is an approved therapy but it's not approved to treat Alzheimer's disease. It's an extremely expensive medication that's in limited supply. But what we've seen um, is extremely encouraging. We've seen patients uh, who would otherwise have progressed and likely died from the course of their illness over the course of that period of time survive and uh, be maintained in a very mild stage of their illness. Well, Jason is one of the, I think, conspicuous responders to the medication. He, he, he's done extraordinarily well. Uh, the progression of his illness is maybe one-tenth of what would normally be expected over a period of several years. Um, he has been able to lead a fairly normal life despite being in early stages of the disease and um, he has carried on um, fairly independently, uh, which is something that we really want to see all Alzheimer's patients be able to do. We've gone nine years without a new approved therapy. This is uh, unquestionably uh, a critical juncture.